Hello everyone, this is Fliptaku here on the Fliptaku bl blog, and I'm currently trying out the new Crisis 2 multiplayer demo that just recently released. So far, I, you know, the demo's okay, you know, it has some neat multiplayer moments, but I get the feeling, and I'm not alone in this, actually, I, I, I'm reading a lot of this online, especially on the Steam forums, that the Crisis 2 multiplayer demo feels more like a console port than ever. Well, we'll see some of the footage that I recorded in here. Uh, first off, um... Right at the beginning, we are greeted with press start to begin. Um, I see no start button on my keyboard or my mouse. So, okay, right now I'm currently logging in. Blah, 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 blah. As I go to options and then game, we see aim assist. Do note that I, it was default but enabled. Yep, aim assist was by default enabled, so I had to disable it. So, yeah, my graphic settings right now are currently set to hardcore, so. But. That is really wow. As, and I was playing it, and I'm like, I'm having the eerie feeling that they are kind of trying to do a modern uh, Call of Duty thing, especially uh, right here. Actually, is uh, uh, showing the uh, loading screen to a game, and you see here these uh, three, um, these uh, three uh, kind of like kill streaks thing. Uh, I believe to get three kills, you use the radar. You get five kills, you get the orbital strike, and you get seven kills, you get the damn airstrike. Kind of feeling a little Call of Duty-esque much. You know, a little Modern Warfare action here going on. But yeah, some of the aiming in the game and just how the, you know, just how it all works out. It just really does feel like a console port to the PC, and it begs the question, uh, you know, to the developers. Uh, guys, like, are you porting this from the console? Like... I understand, like, the console has some neat stuff going on for it, but instantly, you know, greeted with this. I'm just hoping that this isn't the final product, you know? Like, I'm, you know, instantly greeted with press start to begin. That just threw me off. I'm like, this is not... This... I... What? <laughs> Literally, I was just... And then I, I, and then I just checked the settings just to make sure. I'm like, okay, why is auto... Why is aim assist here? And enabled by default, much less. So, um, yeah, I had to do that. So, but, um, yeah, uh, again, I'm not the only one with, uh, with this, you know, opinion. A lot of people out there who've been playing it believe it as well. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna just have this video out there for the folks, you know, just, I just hope that the things will be more different when the final version of Crisis 2 comes out. The multiplayer, you know, you know, multiplayer seems, you know, fun, has its fun moments, but still, it just seems a little too much like a console Call of Duty game, just with crisis elements involved. This is Flip Taco here on the Flip Taco blog, signing out.